And for example, three, we are back with a company called Chairco, which manufactures two types of chairs, standard and plush. Standard chairs requires two hours uh, to construct and finish, and plush chairs require three hours to construct and finish. I don't think I've heard a total yet. Upholstering takes one hour for standard chairs and three hours for plush chairs. There are no more than 240 hours. That sounds like a total. 240 hours uh, per day available for construction. So that's obviously, there's only 24 hours in a day. They must be counting the number of people or machines they have working and multiplying it by the number of hours that are being worked. And 150 hours per day available for upholstering. So 150, those are both hours. So what's the 240? 240 is construction. And 150 is upholstery. And there's an H in upholstering right there, upholstering. Okay, so uh, we do have our totals now, everyone. What we need to do is figure out the guts or the middle of these inequalities. So let's take a look. Standard chairs require two hours to construct and finish. And plus, uh, plush chairs requires three hours to construct and finish. So I think I've got my columns. I'm gonna have a standard chair and I'm going to have a plush chair. So standard requires two hours. We'll call standard our X. And plush requires three hours. We will call plush our Y. And upholstering require, takes one hour for standard. So one, again, our X is for standard. And three hour, hours for plush chairs. So three, and again, Y is plush. We've got the rest of the information from the thing, everyone. Remember, sum of the money plus sum of the money equals all the money. We're always going to have pluses in there. And it says there are no more than 240 hours. And so we need to be less than or equal to 240 hours there. And we need to be less than or equal to 150 hours there. So that's how our uh, inequalities are gonna come about to everyone. And again, the way that we go about that first step is find the totals and label them. Second step, find a column that seems like it's a good fit in terms of the information and then find the other column. From there, it's pretty simple. Uh, or it feels Except like for it, increasing oops, the number of acres with corn just started and decreasing the number the of video. acres. With okay, there we go. <laughs> Schlegel twice at the same time. I don't know if that's even something that someone can handle. Okay, so let's take a look here, everyone. We've got to go back to GeoGebra, and you can see I've got my previous problem here. What I want to do is come over here, and if I want to save this picture, I will export the image. Again, there's no need to do that. I'm not going to ask you to turn in your graphs. I do want to create a new one. Again, I just click Don't Save, and I will get a blank slate here. I can't move because I haven't clicked the arrow right there, so I'm gonna do that. Get it pulled out here a little bit. And then copying from my iPad, everyone, I have 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 240. And I have 1x plus 3y is less than or equal to 150. So I need to zoom out to even find the graphs. There they are, and you'll notice again, I can't move unless I grab the white area. And so again, I'm looking for the corners that are abut the darkest region. So right here, right here, and right here. So as we've done with previous problems, I'm going to duplicate these two inputs and change them to be equal signs or equations so that GeoGebra recognizes them as equations and puts a line there for me. I also need a line on the y-axis and a line on the x-axis. So I get that by saying x equals zero and y equals zero. Now I've got a line, a line, a line, a line. And this shaded region here tells me to only pay attention to this corner, this corner, and this corner. So if I come up to this piece here, I grab the intersect tool, I can go plop, plop, plop. And GeoGebra tells me that I do have three points here 
that are possibilities in terms of production. We're going to find out what the best thing for this company to do is, everyone. We have a point at 0, 050. We'll call that A. We have a point at 90, 20. That's our point B. And we have a point at 120, 0. That's our point C. So again, if we match up our X values and our Y values, option A is telling us to make 0 standard and 50 plush. Option B, that's a total of 50 chairs. Option B, that's how many chairs we, we can make with these constraints and the number of hours and all that if we only made plush chairs. Option B is to make 90 and 20. That's 110 chairs. Or we could make all the way up to 120 chairs by making all standard and no plush. So again, three options for this company, everyone. We're going to use some information in a minute to figure out which is the best for this company and which one is going to be the most profitable. Uh, we'll be back with that video for example three continued.